interspecies differences between the scapula. So we have scapula of a ruminant, scapula of a horse, and a scapula of a pig here. As you can see straight away that the tuber spina scapulae, which is this part in the horse, this part in the ruminant, and this part in a pig. In the pig it's very distinct, it's curved. In the horse it's less distinct, but you can still see it. In a ruminant it's really hard to see, as well as in the car carnivore. The acromion in the horse, it's somewhere about here, it's really less distinct, as well as in the pig. In the ruminant it's really distinct, you can see it's really big. Also in the acromion, we don't have the uh, scapula of a dog or a cat, but in a dog and a cat, from the acromion, uh, form the processus hamatus, which is a little bit like this part. And in the cat, we have the processus suprahamatus. The proportions between the fossa, supraspinata and infraspinata are distinct as well. In the ruminant, it's one to three. In the horse, it's one to two. In a pig, it's one to two as well. In carnivores, it's one to one.